You ever wonder what a thousand dollars would get you in California? Well, you might actually be surprised one way or another, depending upon your expectations. So today we're going to hop on realtor.com, do a little bit of browsing and figure out what the hell we could get for a thousand dollars a month. If you were to buy a property in today's market, in today's economy with today's interest rates. So moral of the story is it's going to be the least amount that you are going to be able to get for a thousand bucks in the past, probably 10 years. Anyway, let's see what happens. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Grayson Roberts, realtor and owner of Boss Properties. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest any properties in California, give me a call, text, or email 24-7. I'd love to help you out. And before we go any further, don't skip ahead because today's video sponsor is going to pay you to sign up instead of the other way around. That's right, my favorite online stock brokerage, Weeble. I've personally been using them for over four years and I've never paid them a dime. That's because they're absolutely free. And they're going to pay my subscribers with a sign-up bonus of six free stocks. All I got to do is click the first link in our description, create an account, deposit as little as just one cent into your brokerage account. They're going to put those six free stocks in there. You can sell them, buzz it, make more money or cash them out in your bank account because inflation sucks. With all that jibber jabbering out of the way, let's just run into my computer. We're going to do the math together. We're going to run through it and see what we find. All right. So here we are just in the Google calculator, whatever. Uh, so this is the default and we always include taxes and fees. So it looks like $300,000 is going to get us $2,100 a month, $2,200 a month. Okay, so that's too much. But let's run through some of the parameters. For the down payment, we're going to do the standard 20%. And for the 30-year fixed rate, it's claiming that for a 680 to 700 credit score, you're going to get about 8%. But I know that it's riding around probably, I think right now is 6.8. So let's say that you do have a lower credit score. So we'll go for a 6.2 locked 30-year fixed rate in the state of California with an average credit score. So that puts us at about $2,000 a month. That's too much. So let's cut this in half and start from there. This will still be a little bit over budget, but that's pretty dang close. Let's try to get as close as we possibly can here. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I'd say $1 is not too bad. So we have our home purchasing budget. So let's go through here and to realtor.com. And we're just going to look up the entire state of California. That's a little bit of a... Uh, preview right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Because we are going to compare it to um, Los Angeles because this is just going to give us the absolute cheapest. If I can freaking type. God dang. All right. So typed in California. Now we need to enter our budget, which was $148,000. So let's type that son bitch in. Oh, that's the minimum. Let's actually change that to the maximum. 148, one, two, three, sorry, I'm used to using the MLS, but I don't have the MLS in California. Um, okay, so we're gonna put us here and we have our budget max at 148. So let's go to the highest price first and we can see exactly what 148 will give us. So this looks like a lot foreclosure for sale. It absolutely is, lot, lot, lot. Well, we're getting a lot of lots. I should have filtered by home type. So let's do single family residence. We're not gonna worry about apartments or anything like that. So 147, um, <laughs> um <laughs> what the, what is this? Um, This is not, first of all, were you, did you take a deep breath on the camera and fog it up before we took this picture? So this is not what I was expecting. I think that it's just simply a beautiful lot. Um, okay. That's, that's ridiculous. So we're going to just ignore that. <laughs> Let's find an actually intact house. So we want to get as close to 148 as possible. So it looks like the closest thing, is this a house? This looks like it might be a small house. So let's check this out. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. So before we figure out the location, these pictures are God awful. Good Lord. Look how bad these pictures are. That picture's not bad. God. So, I mean, as far as the property itself goes, it's really not that bad. 
Um, I don't know what kind of neighborhood this is in. This is like a super goofy looking house. I, we're actually gonna skip over that just because that is, um, the pictures are just so, so bad. All right, moving down. Here we go. I see our first real contender, 145. We need 148, but uh, this is about going to be as close as we can get. So that's a lot. That's a house, 1,200 square foot, one bed, one bath. Let's go for some more square footage here. 1,200, 1,200, 1,200. Okay, so this is probably going to be a good example because this is actually contingent, which means it's under contract and someone is actually buying it for this price. So it's a good representation of what the market is doing right now. So this looks like a pretty normal house. I don't think that there's going to be a garage. And is there really only one photo? Oh, good Lord. Okay, these agents in California are taking some horrible photos. Whatever, we'll just go with this. This is a comparable property. Here we go, some real photos. So again, no garage, whoa. Okay, super old wood paneling walls, which I actually don't mind. This is actually, I, I, I don't, I might be completely out of touch here, but I like this. I know it's it's old, it's got the tile ceiling, it's got the wood paneling, it's got the, uh, the wood burning, but I mean, it's really not that bad. It sure looks cozy. And it was about, what was the square footage on this? I think it was about 1200. So, you know, this is about what $1,000 a month will get you, which I am pleasantly surprised. But now let's figure out where this property is actually located because that's gonna make a big difference because something tells me this is not in downtown LA here. So let's zoom way out. Now, I don't know much about California, but something tells me, whoa. Yeah, I mean, it's way out of the way way out of the way. And you're probably not gonna be able to uh, do that if you're gonna wanna make it big in the acting scene down in Los Angeles. I mean, that's a day's drive. I mean, that would be two days drive for me. So now let's do this same experiment in Los Angeles. Is it loss or loss? There we go. Okay, so $148,000. Um. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what that is, and I'm pretty sure that's not legit. And obviously, we are not getting anything for this price. So let's raise the uh, parameters a little bit. Let's zoom out and kind of hit the outskirts just a little bit. Um, and like I said, for this experiment, we are only doing single family. So this is gonna put you probably an hour around it. So here we go. We are getting some more comparable properties here. So it looks like 137 is the closest that we're going to get. Um, Pearl Blossom. Let's see how far this is from Los Angeles. Yeah, so you're about an hour out. So this really isn't a terrible place to be if you wanted to be near Los Angeles. So let's see what this can get. This is probably going to put us around under $1,000 a month. So let's check it out. This is definitely one of the smallest houses I've ever seen, ever. And it looks like the windows are boarded up. So this is an hour away from Los Angeles, less than $1,000 a month. And it says, bitch, fuck you on the wall. So this is, God, basically what you're looking at if you want to buy a home for $1,000 a month anywhere near Los Angeles. So obviously it's not the best decision, but let's just run one more experiment here. I'm curious um, what the cost of living in this town is compared to the U.S. average cost of living in to the US average, or I, I guess I should say median home cost. The average home cost is 360 to 700. So yeah, obviously this is not going to give us the great results that we're looking for, but let's look at San Francisco because that's another very popular place, especially in California, of course. So here we go, one option, actually around the same price. So this is interesting. One bed, one bath, actually smaller, somehow legitimately smaller than the last property. So if you're looking to get into one of those bigger cities to, I don't know, do whatever people do in California, 
uh, this is not going to be the best way to do it. So let's run through just real quick. I haven't looked into this at all, so I'm really curious. This will be fresh eyes for both of us. Let's see what a thousand dollars in rent will get us in. Oh, not my town. In let's see. Uh, let's do Los Angeles first. Um, property type, of course, single family homes, no apartments, um, which is obviously I know not realistic. Uh, wow, the lowest max I can do is, whoa, okay. So we're clearly just gonna have to cycle from the lowest price first. Um, that is not a house. Look at this. Here is a house for $950 a month. I'm not seeing any square footage. I own and live in the property, empty rooms. Uh, so basically, wow. No sleepovers, no smoking, no pets, one room, rooms A and B, females only, single occupancy for one room, good lord. So $1,000 a month for one room and basically uh, zero freedom. You're essentially getting a community bathroom and probably a hundred square foot room for a hundred or a thousand dollars a month. That is absurd. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. Get the free money with Weeble down below and hopefully use that to uh, go towards rent in a more cost of living friendly environment. Anyway, guys, see you next time and stay tuned for the Florida video.